Okay, so I got good news and I got great news. Good news is it stopped raining. This is my bad news is there's water on top of the cover. That's not an issue though. The great news is there's pollen everywhere. Everything's been blooming for a couple weeks now. The bass are officially on bed. The bass rut is in full effect. It's my favorite time of the year. In April, in my life, I've probably fished almost every single day in April for the past five years, except for 2018. Like literally every single day of April, I always fish because the fish are on bed. They're about, they, that's when they really start eating the frog good. They start spawning. They start eating a floating worm, a trick worm, whatever you want to call it. It's awesome. I love this time of year. So much fun. We're going today. Let's go catch them. All right, this dang lake looks good today. There's pollen all over the place. I know they're on bed, so it's going to be a fun day. Been looking forward to trying this out for a long time. The only other 60-pound test braid I've ever used was that uh, Sunline F FX2, whatever, the frog and flipper braid, and that stuff is absolute garbage. 60-pound line, I snap it like it's nothing, like dental floss. It's terrible. This is 60. I'm a little bit uh, weary of it being only 60 and throwing a frog on it, but... Supposed to be strong, should be good. We're gonna give this sucker a straight whirl today and I'll let y'all know how this turns out because this is actually some really good smooth braid. So if this sucker works, this is gonna be the next level braid. So we'll see, keep y'all updated. Hunters with me, we rigging stuff up. We about to get in the lake and uh, catch some big ones. All right, Hunter. All right, Hunter, what's the goal for today? You don't know. I don't have a goal. She just needs some suns, what she said. So, she just found her first bed fish. It was a big one, but it wasn't locked on right. She said it was a five pounder. How big was it? How big was it? Really big. We're gonna see in a little while if she knows how to judge a fish or not. She's usually pretty good at it, though. She's usually, yeah, it's closer, closer than me a lot of times, so. Closer than me. We'll see, closer than me. We're gonna test that throughout the day. Okay, Kyle, what do we have here? We have a bass on bed behind this stump right here. We're gonna make a guess on how big we think he is. All right, Hunter, you tell me your guess and I'll tell you mine. I need to get a better look at him. Is that right? Can you see him? Yeah. How big do you think? 113. 113? I'm gonna go 2-1, two 2-1. One, two one. I, I think you're right there and I'm wrong. He's not really showing much interest yet. I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong spot. His bed's going to be behind him a little bit. I think you need to go over there past the log. So. I got him there. Is that a spotter log though? Hey, large mouth. This landing violation. How about that? I knew he was on a bike because he turned the way he was sitting. Yeah, he turned. He, he was right. Gosh, he is so bright and pretty. He's so beautiful here. He is so cute. What does he go? Zoom in on that. Oh man. <laughs> so me and Hunter had a bet. I said he was 2 1. She said he was 113. He was 2 1. Check that one out. Beautiful little fish. They're so pretty up here, man. So beautiful. Got pretty. Watch the come eat that dang swim bait though. Check that out.
dominate the swim bait, reeling it. Ella Largemouth gave Hunter a quite the uh, workout there. That was tough. Beautiful little thing. Look at him. He's actually bigger than I thought he was. But that's fun nonetheless. God, did you hear the way he hit that thing? Oh my goodness. I thought I had a freaking grown one there. Dang, dude. Little spotopotamus. Did you see that sucker? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that was awesome. Did you see it? <laughs> I see him. There he was. I thought he was bigger than that. Look at that sucker. That was beautiful. I wish I'd have had a chest cam on for that because that was freaking awesome. I, it's top water time. I'm going to get y'all a chest cam because that would have been freaking cool for y'all to see. We're thinking if that potato was soft around it. Good luck. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, it is. Don't you come off of there, dude? Yeah, son. We was in the wrong side of the lake all damn day. Check this out. Mmm. The same way, man. Came up. It. It's been two minutes. So I've been in this pocket like what eight minutes? Come on, sucker. Biggin. Just kidding. Not really a biggin. Fun one though. How much he weigh? 27. Official weight, 27. Okay, so I told y'all I was going to try that braid out and give y'all an update on it. This is it right here. I've used it for a while now. Actually, I've used it, you know, for two or three days. And I have not broken it yet. I've still got the same knot tied. It's frayed a little above the knot. That's going to happen more with smoother braid. This is actually a nine carrier braid. Most, like, suffix 832 it's called 832 because it's eight strands 32 weaves per inch so power pro is like four strands that's why it feels so rough um suffix 832 is eight strands why it feels so smooth and this is actually nine strands so if you know like dial with j braid the j8 or whatever they call it it's very very smooth braid that's because it has eight strands this has nine so it's going to be even smoother but a lot of times i feel like you give up a little bit of strength whenever you use more and more strands I do use smooth braid almost always and not really for frogging but for flipping this stuff does cast exceptionally though it casts very very well I hope it holds up if I have any problems out of it y'all heard me in the past say I'm gonna review this rod or review this and this and if I don't review it that means it's not actually that good I don't want to you know bad mouth the company or something like that so this stuff actually is good I would check it out um, if I have any problems out of it if I break it Y'all be the first ones to know, but so far, I love the way it casts. Like pretty much everything about it so far. It's been pretty good line. Um, they're not really biting a frog that good on chick yet, so whenever I start catching some of them five and six pounders and boat flipping them, we'll know exactly what this strength line's made of. But so far, so good. Cast very well. I think y'all like it. See y'all. Another thing I was going to say, if y'all like seeing Hunter in the videos, like these things. Share them. Leave some comments. We'll get her out on the water more and more and more. The more love y'all get, the more give her, the more I'll drag her out there. See y'all. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that sub button. See y'all.